Hello, hello, I am back with part two. So, um, we did quite a good job yesterday. All our pockets are sewn in and the pages are ready to kind of embellish and start filling our pockets. I have a couple of ideas for the cover. I'm just gonna put that up there. Um, but I just wanted to explain something. So, um, I, like everybody else in this community, absolutely love the Tim Holtz products. Can't get enough of them. Um, and that's literally one problem. Can't get them <laughs> at the minute. A lot of things are out of stock currently. Um, there are some shops that are have them available because I like the independent shops. Um, there are a few shops that still have one or two things and then another shop might have another one or two things and then you've got the postage cost. Um, I know there's a supply issue, obviously, because of transport and things coming in even into the UK at the moment. But on top of all that, I'm, I, I know I'm not alone when I say I just can't afford to keep buying the same things over and over again, especially this time of year. I would love to. I would love to be able to afford to just buy a massive stash of products and um, any products, paint, sprays, all of it. I'd love it all, um, as we all would. But one, it's a bit of a waste. We don't need everything we just need some things <laughs> and um it's just it's just this time of year you know it's it's a money issue as well isn't it for a lot of us so what i did yesterday is um i started pulling bits of ephemera from other kits digital kits that i have i started pulling things together and putting them on a page ready to print and then once i'd got quite a few pages um I decided to make them a little bit different. So I started to use a kind of technique to get them a little bit weathered and a little bit aged, um, which I was really happy with. So then I started creating more ephemera, creating new things, finding new things and changing those too. Um, and I, I kind of ended up with a full kit. So I have added the kit to my shop. Now, a lot, like I said, of this kit has come from other kits, have changed it. I did a lot of test printing while I was editing. Um, I've got all of my prints, apart from this, all of my prints are pre-finalisation. They're all test prints. Um, but all the ephemera is perfectly good to use, so I'm not going to not use it. Um, so this, if you can, if you can see the... It's a little bit tricky to see the effect on this camera. I've, I've got a little bit of an issue at the moment. For some reason, my camera is very blue. Now, while I was doing all the test printing, I'm trying to try and actually talk a bit faster now because I've been talking for five minutes. Um, I printed these on a really, really cheap, glossy photo paper. And it was really cheap. Um, don't take any notice of this colour. Like I said, this was one of the first test prints I did. It was the um, just to see what the colour is like. And for example, once I'd finished, that ended up as that. So the prints that I'm using are not what's in the kit. Not exactly anyway. So that was glossy paper. Um, some of them look fabulous. They do work really well. But my preference was the satin. I've printed as usual onto, um, onto the heavyweight photo matte paper from Epson. This one, again, it's another test print, so they're not all perfect. Um, but I've printed these onto the satin photo paper, and I just love this paper. And we're going to do something with these first of all today. I absolutely love how those flowers have come out. Now, I've tried to choose just things with straight edges. I'm going to have an attempt at this, but I'm not quite sure how that's going to go. We will see. And I have pulled out a few scraps of bookboard. This one, as you can see, is a lot thicker than this one. You could use a couple of layers of any kind of cardstock, um, but these are going to become dimensional pieces. They're not going to be flat. 
So I've got my my prints and I'm gonna, you can use any ephemera for this. You can use absolutely any ephemera you like for this, but I'm gonna just use all of this because I have so many prints of it now. So now these are all glued into place, I'm going to cut them. But what you want to do is, if you're cutting this one, make sure your ruler is over that and you cut off the edge. Now, it's easier to do a few shallow passes than to do one deep pass with your knife. It's a lot easier and a lot kinder to your hands if you don't put too much pressure. Those ones are cut. Now this one, I've put on the thinner book board because I'm gonna cut this with scissors and um, it's actually very easy to cut through this thinner board. If you're using um, a cereal box, you can, you know, triple thick, thick it if you like. And um, I'm gonna show you what I do to the edges if I use multiple layers. So I'm gonna cut this out then I'm going to lay it and glue it to another piece and cut it out again. So I've got a thicker piece, um, but it's not so difficult to cut it out on this thinner card. I'm going for a dark ink. Just grab one of my little, um, little sponges. Now these ones, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sand around the edge. It is card uh, book board, so there's going to be little particles. You probably should be wearing a mask just around the edge to just kind of ensure there's a smooth finish between the printed image and the book board. Um, I'm going to sand all of those the same. This one, you can see where we've got that join. doesn't really bother me, but what I'm going to do is sand this along the edge. Okay, so that one, you can see, it's a little bit smoother around those edges. It's not perfect. Now these are, I mean, you can see the shine on that and the thickness. You know, it's really nice, it feels really nice. I've got my walnut stain ink and I'm just gonna ink along the edge where I've sanded and ink up the edge of these. It's going to take me a minute. The next thing I'm going to do, now these are inked around the edge. I think I'm running out of the old walnut stain because it's not as dark <laughs> as it should be. I'm just going to take some Distress Collage Medium. You can use any clear drying glue, anything you've got. I'm going to put a little blob on there. I'm not using it from my tub because this will um, end up being quite inky. And all I'm going to do is use the side of my brush and rub a little bit of glue to seal that edge. It kind of feels a bit nicer than the raw card um, or book board and it just seals it in. Makes it feel a bit more like a finished product. I'm just going to put these aside to dry that I did um, yesterday. So I went ahead and did a load. So they're really nice, nice and thick. And I love the sound of them when you throw them about. <laughs> so there's little, little bits and pieces. The backs are, I've done nothing to, so the backs are kind of good to go. So these are ready for us to use. I'm just gonna clean up my space the ephemera printed in um, just photo matte quality paper. So we're gonna use some of these. And I'm gonna grab my book. I think I'm good to go. So now it's a case of having a little look through and seeing how I can decorate and what I can do to make this more interesting. This is quite, um, this is quite, straight on when you open the book it's going to be the first thing you see so I don't want anything too big here at the moment I'm going to move on to this second pocket this is the one that I'm going to have as a as a flap up not this side this side is going to stay flat I'm going to put 
put a little bit of stitching along here just have a little zigzag stitch along the bottom there I really like the bingo upside down I changed it changed it about I think I'm gonna have as a start that although I have a smaller one of these now so maybe that's no I kind of want a bit more of that map covered up I think so I'm gonna stick these down we'll come back to this page this is our little double pocket here so I'm going to just have a little play and then I will let you know what my decisions are to go for this um, so these are going to be layered behind that pocket and this I've gone for the um, the semi gloss and I'm gonna have it just protrude, protruding slightly higher than the pocket so I'm going to ink these pieces and glue them into place. There's something fairly simple, just adds a little bit of extra dimension and layer. Okay, so now we've got little, the little tiny pocket just looks a little bit bigger now. We've got that over the top and then we've got our big pocket there. <clears throat> okay, so let's have a little look at this one. I'm going to put a little bit of glue in that corner and a little bit of glue in this corner and put him, well and her, like so. And I'm going to stitch around the image on that one. So what else can I add here? I think I like that there too actually. And number 44, I, I, you probably have noticed that in most of my work I have, all of the kits I make, I tend to use um, number 44 a lot and number 27 a lot. Um, I don't know why 27 seems to be used. Um, I don't know why I use 27, but 44 is um, Lewis's car number. Um, and everybody knows by now, I'm pretty sure that I'm a, an absolutely huge Lewis Hamilton fan. Okay, I'm going to just sew this piece first. And actually, what I'm going to do is I am, I'm going to just ink this. I always do the antenna on a flat surface. It's just a little bit safer. Um, I'm going to sew the body and I'm going to sew around my picture. And I'll put these in. I'm just going to trim the tails on the... I didn't do it on the other one. Um, I did that quite differently because that was a butterfly with no antenna. So I left the cotton as the an antenna on that one. So managed to get myself a little bit of glue there by the looks of that, but that's okay because that's where this is going to go. I don't want to just glue across the top there. I need to make sure I'm leaving a little bit of room for where it's going to overhang that pocket. So now we've got our little tuck spot with just a little bit more interest there. I've just done a little zigzag stitch over the body of this butterfly and I'm going to add that here. So we've got a kind of diagonal flow across this page. Okay, I'm really liking that. I like the colour combination of that too. And then obviously a part of the butterfly maybe will still be sh you know, shown once we get something in there. I'm going to put this clip over here in a similar way to Susie did hers. And I just want a tiny, teeny, tiny piece of ephemera. So this, my dome is, is just about done. I don't really use it for blending or the, the correct way it should probably be used. Um, I don't know if that's going to quite work the way it did on the previous. That's okay. Quite like that. Um, so what can I put on this pocket?
down the edge of that and attach my piece. This is one of the, the harder pieces. And I'm gonna, that's pretty central, so I'm gonna glue, I'm just gonna ink this first and then glue that into place. into place make sure that's dry all right so far so good we've not got anything here or here at the moment so I think we should probably add something we'll come back we'll come back to it it's not a problem um, now this side this is our plain section here and I think this because this is the front this is the one I want to nope um this is where I want to add my tag. So here, this is the bit that's going to lift up. I think I'm going to add. I decided to keep this page um, a little bit simpler and I'm going to go for this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually turn this into a little side pocket um, just because I can. It's going to be glued into place but I'm going to sew around the photograph and then I will show you how it's going to look. I think I'm going to have it about here so I can still see the stitching behind. So I'm going to glue um, these three sides. I'm going to leave this side open keep my thumb there so I know which side I do not want to glue so that is this one done okay I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a break now and I will lay out all of the final pieces and make my decisions before I start filming again I had thought we'd get a lot more done but I've been filming for well over an hour and obviously I need to reduce this um, and that's most, mostly just decision making. I think we're going to have something quite dimensional here um, with our with our tag um, and probably needs to be over in that corner just to make it a little bit more stable. Yeah, I'm happy with what we've got. I just wish we'd have got a little bit more done. Um, I quite like that little combo though, so I'm going to keep that together. I will be back maybe later today with the next episode or next instalment, but it will just be us finishing off and then... Um, I probably will glue things into place and I'll come back and we will start making some tags and ephemera to go in it. But we've done quite a few pages. So we've done this one with our little pocket. We've done this one with our side um, tuck spot. This little double pocket, we've almost finished with that. Uh, this one we haven't done, this one we have. So we'll, we'll have a little play um, and then I'll come back and we'll see what I've put together.